Um, I want to now go to what I think this is, what you're about to see. First of all, what you're about to see is going on in you right now, everywhere in you. We're going to let you look briefly at a cell made by the chemistry department at Harvard University, which was getting a little worried that it wasn't getting chemistry majors. So they thought maybe they should do something jazzy. So they know that textbooks in chemistry, you know, the chemistry always looks like circles and very boring. So they said, let's just actually make it like it is. So, so this is basically what you, what's going on in your cells right now. These are different fibers assembling, disassembling your cells. What this is, is this a, this thing? is a, a, a molecular machine that walks around in your cells right now. It's called a kinesin and transports things. So, for example, when things want to move around your cells, they don't just float around randomly. They actually I, I like actively that. moved around with little machines, little robots, nanobots that power your cells. Um, what you see here is actually the, uh, an amazing machine coming out of these little pores which actually assembles other machines. This is like the factory floor of your cells. It's called a ribosome. It reads your RNA. RNA is, uh, trans uh, comes from the DNA. It's translated into RNA, and then it basically uh, gets read out by uh, these ribosomes, and they make new machines, which then do other things. So there's all kinds of machines in your cells, things that rotate, things that walk, things that make other machines, things that read RNA, things that copy DNA, that open, uh, sh Let's look at this shuffle again things while we talk about it. Can we look at it a second time? I, yeah. I, 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 first of all, for how fast is this in real life, all these things going on? Oh, so, some of those things can happen quite fast, some kind of slow. And that's actually the interesting thing of the nanoscale. You can create all kinds of time scales depending on how many pieces have to act together. Some things can well, happen guy in nanoseconds, some in milliseconds, some in microseconds. Um, you know, they, they're actually... Um, they make steps in a kind of millisecond range, I would say. In and what? Like milliseconds, or thousands of a second. And we, a little so bit. So you can have this. So it's actually boom, faster boom, than that. It's boom, much boom, faster boom. than that. So they made it kind of looking. So this is a garbage man. That big what sack is just cell garbage, and he's going to take it up this tube, or it is going to take it up this yeah, tube. Yeah, there are some machines that walk to the, from the inside of the cell to the outside of the cell to kick garbage out, and others that go from the outside of the cell to the inside cell to bring the good stuff in. So they're specialized machines, they only walk in certain directions. Is this, what about the color? That's pretend, right? Yeah, that's, you know, those things are so small, you really can't, uh, you know, Because it would be very animations. dark, in, I mean, unless you had stage lights or something. <laughs> yeah. This is a copier? Yeah, that's a copier, and it, that little wormy thing that's coming out is a new protein coming out, and here's a new protein has formed, two of them linked together, and they make a new nanomachine that goes off to do its thing. So this is the build, this is what plants have and animals have and we have, we're built from these things. Right, that's, and you this look, is what's going on in your cells right now. And so you look inside and I, you, you, I think it would be fair to say that this seems extraordinarily complicated, oh, yeah. extraordinarily sophisticated, extraordinarily, to use a careful word, miraculous. 